inside of a yield surface is a purely elastic domain. Does, plastic domain does not occur inside the yield surface. So deformation profile or profile is described like that. Like that. So this is a uh, So elastic. So this is elastic. In this model, very difficult to describe such kind of deformation. So real material does not have a, uh, how can I say, uh, this kind of deformation. So smooth deformation from the elastic part and plastic part. <coughs> it means that plastic deformation is open below the yield surface. So this is a this point is coming from the our assumption, simple assumption. So our deformation so divided by two parts, elastic and elastoplastic. This is very big, uh, very strict assumption. So we forget this assumption. Elastoplastic deformation is occur inside. The uh, in the surface, so we introduce loading surface inside the uh, inside not we have <laughs> inside uh, loading surface. Sorry, it's okay. The size of so this is a, we which we call the sub loading surface. This is a new concept sub loading surface concept. It's okay. Plastic deformation. This is a very important. Plastic deformation is described the ratio of this surface and this surface. So uh, the definition of R is defined by F sigma IJ divided by large F. So R equal one, two surface is constant. constant. The two surfaces is completely same. So R equal zero is a surface become dot point. Inner surface become point. This is a assumption. So plastic deformation is uh, described the size of the loading surface. If the loading surface become big, plastic deformation <coughs> become big. Dot purely elastic domain. So this is concept. So definition of the two surfaces is like that. This is which we call normal yield surface. R equal one is a uh, the model is back to the original one. So previous one. By using this model, so first of all you can you image. So point in this point, so elastic deformation. After the expand the inner surface, plastic deformation gradually occur. So we can describe such kind of deformation. This is a conventional elastic plastic. <coughs> but our you know, response of the curve is defined several cases. How to control this one parameter, material parameter? So material parameter should be selected for as, as so, so as to fit the uh, material. This is a concept. Material parameter should be selected for fit the uh, fitting uh, uh, material. This part is really complicated. So sometimes people say, oh, this is fitting parameter. Okay. Yeah, I cannot say more. But, uh, but if you choose a material parameter from the uh, precise experiment, so this is very, very important. So it depends on the material, I think. So, why this model is important? Please consider the fatigue analysis. Fatigue of the material. So the metal is bent like that. So completely uh, destroyed due to a small perturbation. <coughs> but in the previous model, the, this is here. <coughs> One of the process, the home, is, is here, it's okay. So, so it's going down. 
but constant loading cannot describe plastic deformation because the uh, uh, constant means plastic mesh does not occur. Stress amplitude, uh, stress movement exists inside uh, in the surface. Stress moves inside the surface, plastic deformation, no plastic deformation. Plastic does not occur. But in this model, our, model, uh, our second model, every time occur. So we can describe such kind of deformation. The plastic deformation accumulated due to the same storage amplitude. So strain <coughs> is accumulated, finally crashes. This is a pattern. So by using, uh, by uh, to explain, uh, to describe a uh, party or such kind of uh, com sorry, compaction also, you should consider our unconventional plastic model. So this is one of the uh, model in the uncom unconventional plastic concept. But formulation is not so uh, difficult because same form. Don't forget IJ. It's okay. I, today I do not uh, consider about IJ. It's okay, fine. We can define, we can describe a one dimensional case also. So, differentiation of oh, new one is exist, DR. This is very important. This is a material parameter. If, if this is a DR is described like that. This part is very, very important. Oh, important definition I have. Should write here. Yeah. DR is U multiplied D epsilon P. It means that R is a ratio of the yield surface and loading surface ratio. It's okay. So when the uh, the Loading surface, uh, up, uh, to, uh, how can I say, uh, approach to the yield surface. Plastic deformation occur when the plastic deformation occur in a surface should be approached to the yield surface, but the material become uh, weaker and weaker. It's okay if the uh, Plastic deformation occur the inner surface shrink. So the two ratio, uh, so R is become small. If we, uh, oh sorry, so B, A, B, A, no, 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 no. Small, small. F divided by inner. Large F, yeah. So it means that harder. Plastic deformation occur and uh, the material become harder. A little bit of strange. So the stress, plastic damage Oka. My name is Okayas. It's a discard. <laughs> Oka. So uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, well, okay. uh, so it means that uh, deformation, plastic deformation Oka. So, uh, so uh, in a surface must be uh, uh, approached to the. Uh, after surface, it means that the uh, surface. This is very important point. So we introduce uh, functions, UR function. So oh, this is very important. So, okay, and then uh, if the UR is every time infinite, we consider it's it okay. Every time in infinite. So DR is infinite. It means that. This function does not uh, 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 have a meaning. It means that the model is go back to the previous one. So previous <coughs> model. Later I will explain uh, detail. But actually, by using function u, if we choose uh, any parameter, we can describe many kind of uh, uh, property. U R is a uh, infinite, so this is a R E 
as an R you, for, you forget the R E. So now R E equals zero, it's okay. So so tangent uh, of this part is really complicated. So okay, so you forget this uh, function, so please check the, this equation as uh, a graph. So R equal one, the function must be equal zero. It's okay? And then uh, r equals zero. This is infinite if r e, r, r e equals zero. So infinite means uh, this function introduced into the this part. Later, the meaning of this function is uh, clearly uh, understood. And then this part is same. But r exists. But if you uh, uh, consider r equal one, so this part is same as before. D F D H D H. Yeah. Same as this one. Same this one. D F D H. Now r equal exists. R here. So D R D D R F plus. Uh, R much by df dh dh. So two function is required. But uh, so finally we get this function. So this part is a little bit different. This part is R. This part. What is this? Now So this is part is R equal one U function U equal zero. Zero. It means that this part is go back to the previous one completely. But if the R equal not equal one, but R equal very, very small, please consider. So U is the infinite. So in that case, this part is very big. It means that plastic deformation, this is infinite, plastic deformation occur or not. So the, this part is infinite. So this part is a become zero. It means that this part is low. So deformation is purely elastic. This is an idea of the subloading surface. And choose of the uh, parameter, we can define many kinds of profile. So if the elastic property is very significant, in that case, u become big. Small u is big. So the plastic de deformation is gradually occur from the uh, inside of the, uh, the uh, initial stage of the uh, stress point. In that case, you become small. So in that case, gradually, plastic element gradually described. So this is depends on the material parameter and depends on the material. So other formulation is the same as before. Only this, this is a very important point of this model. So this is a material function for the soil. Why? So P is a sigma 1, 1 plus sigma 2, 2 plus sigma 3, 3, or sigma XX plus sigma YY plus sigma 3, 3 divided by 3. This is a, a hydrostatic axis, the mean source. So if you, uh, uh, do you make a rice cake? No, no. <laughs> Japan <laughs> is uh, like a... Uh, but they know onigiri. Onigiri, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is maybe a... So storage is uh, 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 applied the uh, same direction, for example. This is a P. But yeah, can you image? Oh, rice is uh, gradually compressed due to a uh, uh, mean, st mean stress. Mean uh, axis or hydrostatic axis. 
So uh, material is uh, packed by the bill and then uh, uh, put into the water, deep sea. So compressed due to uh, uh, water stress. So, so in that case, material is deformed, plastic, due to uh, uh, hydrostatic axis. So stress uh, surface or either surfaces must be uh, surface, uh, so must be closed like this. So either surface is, is exists in the hydrostatic axis also. So soil is the uh, 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 shear like that. Uh, deform an elastic deformation occur due to such kind of deformation. So this is the uh, other direction. So soil is uh, yield this point. This point. Many cases, this is yield surface. We introduced two surfaces, several elastic uh, uh, domain surface is a little bit uh, complicated, but uh, so please forget in, in this stage. So only two surfaces. So this is one of the uh, shape of the soil or granular media, like uh, grains, also same, as, uh, for example, beans, also same, uh, same. So, but if you test the material, the shape of the uh, surface change, so you make a uh, function by using mathematical equation, so you apply, it's okay, no problem. Ah, this is also one of the. Uh, this is the coming from the uh, soil test. So horizontal axis is a uh, mean pressure, mean uh, minus much uh, uh, mean, uh, mean stress much by minus one. So so this is the pressure, and this is the vertical axis is the volume. The volume is. Is compressed, uh, so change due to uh, uh, mean stress, the pressure. But this part elastic, this part plastic, elastic plastic. Sorry. So we, why? As you know, granular material, soil, if uh, compact, well, the soil, so the hardness become more. It's okay, and if the after the chilling, after prime prime the soil, so very soft, the volume is a very big. The volume become small, the granular material become hard. So this is the meaning of the uh, by using the equation, we can describe like that. So the this is the compression curve. So due to uh, increase of the pressure, volume become small. For uh, the uh, testing a soil, we get this data, for example. So we can define the low and gamma. So this is elastic response of the uh, pressure and uh, volume relation. This is one of the key uh, parameters to describe the uh, soil. PI is uh, one of the threshold value for uh, the volume become infinite. It means that you image uh, soil, so put into the uh, uh, so, so this condition. So uh, soil does not explore. But you throw out the soil, so immediately. So this is explore. So this storage is a PI. So, so, so for the, you know, I made the uh, sun. PI is very small. So each particle does not uh, con uh, uh, connect each other. But clay. So each particle is connected uh, electrically and uh, chemically. So in that case, these uh, uh, connections are very hard. So PI is a little bit big. 
So it depends on the material. So this is a, a formula, also plastic, uh, the elastic part of the soil. Uh, many people use this type of function. So to check the information that we use a soil test, this is a test specimen. So this is a granular media. So this is a uh, test sample of the log of the Shinkansen. They exist here. So the diameter is very big, so 60, 60 uh, degree, uh, the degree, the centimeter. And the uh, height is 60, the diameter is 30 centimeter. Our computation result like that. <laughs> Not so good. So this is the 10 cycle of the uh, stone, like that, here. 100, uh, 1,000 cycle, this one. But our assumption, the only point, the purely elastic domain, uh, point, other plastic deformation occur. But in general, the log uh, connection or well, rock to rock, uh, how can I say, uh, rock mass has a strictly uh, connected. It means that the connection is very uh, stiff. So compacted rock is stiffness become more. So we have to consider the no plastic uh, zone. So RBE means in the previous equation RBE means the no plastic deformation zone. We introduce the elastic domain inside the loading surface. So is it, if the surface exists inside the loading surface, so uh, no, uh, the elastic domain surface, so plastic vessel does not occur. So after the, 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 uh, uh, the subloading surface is uh, more than the elastic domain surface, so Plastic deformation gradually occur. So we introduce an uh, elastic domain surface into the loading surface or subloading surface. So this is assumption. The extension one. So elastic modules do not become zero, even if the effective mean storage becomes zero. The elastic concentration is modified. And this is the PI we introduce. And the second one, the elastic response will be improved due to an increase in the compaction of ballastic stones. Maybe the elastic domain meaning of the last plastic boundary should be incorporated inside the yield surface, and it should be developed due to the progress of the compaction. So compaction is uh, accumulated or in integrated, so the elastic surface gradually expand. Elastic dome, zone is very, uh, is expand. So we introduce this one. Uh, this part is, okay, So this one, like I introduce this surface, did gradually expand. So in this, uh, this one, this is a modified one. Little bit different, but quality is good. So this is 10 cycle of the loading, like that here. So 1,000 cycle of loading there. So previous one, 100 cycle is here. This is a very good. So plus this is a uh, effect of the elastic domain surface. We introduce elastic domain, we can control the plastic with the BIS speaker. This one, like that. The previous one, this one. Very big strain accumulation, plastic strain accumulation described, but uh, current one is uh, Modified. Yeah. So we uh, we introduced uh, this, this model into the finite element box. So I will look. Okay. Yeah. So finite element analysis. We have to consider. So I continuum body. So this is a continuum mechanics. Uh, has a, a continuous body, has an infinite number of degree of freedom in general. On the other hand, uh, this guy's body has a finite number of degree of freedom. 
this point is the origin of the main of the financial mechanism. FEM has the following two very important features. The first one is the piecewise approximation of the continuum body using finite elements uh, provide uh, good precision even with the simple approximation function. So like that. So simply increase the uh, number of the elements can achieve an increase of the precision. So if the uh, triangle, triangle or square uh, discretization, the number of discretization is more, so precise becomes more. And discretized approximation of the body leads to the square uh, sparse equation system. This uh, helps to ease of the solution of the problem, having very large number of nodal norms. It is not uh, uncommon today to solve the uh, system containing a million primary unknowns. So, generally, continuum body has an infinite number of freedom, but discretized one is a finite number of freedom. But by using finite element analysis, we can compute the deformation of the uh, Trucks or tractors or structure, machine structures, and then uh, medical part. This is the connection part of the real bone and the artificial bone. So, three uh, between two or the mass, uh, friction between two materials is very important in this sector. And then, uh, aerospace, uh, uh, airplane, and the electromechanics, and uh, now, but now technologies. This is the physical background of the finite element analysis, motion. So this motion is a, uh, this is a uh, Newton law, and then uh, we consider a, a strain field and this displacement field relation. So this is a motion to deformation relation, this is displacement strain relation. And then, now I explain uh, in detail, so about the law. So this is a very important point. If you want to use, a, if you want to analyze a metal, metal structure, so you select the metal constitutive model. You want to study about the tomato, tomato model. So you can choose. Other equations are the same. So constitutive model is a special, different. So you should uh, check and uh, select, uh, depends on the uh, material. This part. And then uh, finally, equilibrium forces. So, the equilibrium equations, you, your stress is go back to the uh, motion. So, this cycle is a physical uh, cycle of the deformation and motion. So, plus, we have to consider the boundary uh, condition as a boundary problem. So, we uh, this part is fixed. Uh, this uh, Camera is uh, supported by three. Uh, so uh, this is a fixed point applied uh, boundary con as a boundary condition. So and then so I, I put push this uh, top of the uh, camera. So what kind of deformation occurs in the body of the uh, this structure? So this is the input uh, condition. And then we can solve the problem. So this is more uh, mathematical uh, definition of the uh, boundary value problem. So this is a little bit difficult because uh, deformation, so large deformation, if you consider about large deformation, in this case, you have to consider uh, a little bit uh, complicated structure of the equations. Uh, this is the equilibrium equation. Generally, equilibrium equation is very simple, so only one, only this part. If you consider about, uh, for example, uh, deformation, uh, very small. In this case, we don't consider about the deformation of the uh, uh, space. But if the space is also uh, the deformation is big, so space is is also change. For example, you uh, you, you image every time 
if we uh, if we uh, stand the us, now we see a uh, 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 not sorry, yeah. So G uh, is another case. Uh, the satellite, satellite. Okay. So now satellite has a, a bending machine. So the, but satellite is always move. So it means that the axis is changed. So in this, we have to consider such kind of uh, condition in the large dimension case. So this part is coming from the uh, such kind of uh, phase. So then we compute this one, and then uh, we apply the uh, constitutive model here, and then we get this equation. This is the final equation. We compute this one, we get uh, interesting deformations. So this is uh, oh, so that doesn't work. The data I will explain. So how to uh, <coughs> Uh, what kind of uh, deformation occurs in the uh, agricultural uh, tools. So, uh, so we model by using a finite element mesh and combine each other like that. So this is a uh, finite element. And then press one point. So then we can get the stress distribution. Uh, this part of uh, very big stress um, uh, uh, accumulation is occur so with, so this bearing is very uh, has, has a big stress and then the problem is the start from here for example but uh, what kind of uh, design to change the design so the stress gradually decrease so the shape of this one is better for example So this is very interesting uh, simulation uh, by using a large deformation case. So this is a solid part, very simple part. But uh, initial perturbation or initial uh, lack input into the two, part, two point. This part, for example, this is a please image the uh, uh, compression bar in the experiment. The compression part a little bit shifted to the center in this case. The, the uh, tester or, uh, is check the uh, widths of the bar, so touch the, 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 this part a little bit the hole in the initial stage. This is an uh, imperfection in the initial stage. The, but Deformation is completely different. This is a, a irregular deformation or in a uh, in uh, formal deformation uh, due to uh, initiation of the imperfection uh, problem. So sometimes our test result that is not same every time. So it's a little bit change the shape of the deformation. This is due to uh, homo uh, homogeneity, inhomogeneity. So the material does not have homogeneity in general. So, but computation is, uh, is strictly select to the such kind of defect or crack. This is a computation design. Small perturbation, small uh, system error has a big error become bigger. This is one of the important things. But if you consider, if you do not consider about this part, this part, this part, we cannot get this design, only compress without irregular deformation, only deformed the bad kind. By using this part, we got this result. Finally, completely different shape of the deformation. So the break or if any question.
Uh, if I have any questions, so I will, con I will explain about the uh, work or soil compaction. So this is a discrete element. Uh, 